Well, hello, welcome to Issy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Pisces Rainbow LGBTQ plus love prediction reading for August 21st through August 27th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. If you enjoy my reading or my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my lovable, kind, empathetic, sweet, fun, Pisces. Show me what's going on, my loving Pisces. Show me, spirit guides. What's going on? Let's see, Pisces, what you got going on. Oops, the devil. Ace of Swords. Six of Cups. Eight of Wands. And the World card. Huh. Wherever she is, huh, you're addicted to her. You're addicted to her energy. Um, you guys have incredible lust with each other. I mean, it's one of those things that you see each other and it, it's almost like you know, you know exactly what to do. There's uh, there's you and this person are just in sync when it comes to lust. I just see a whole bunch of a whole bunch of I can't keep my hands off of you. A whole bunch of, uh, you know, um, kissing and hugging and you know what I'm saying. You and this person just have some incredible intimacy, some lust, some, some just incredible and it's, and it's very lustful. See, I, I don't think that lust is bad in a relationship. Matter of fact, I think it's very good. Um, but let me say this. You, um, there's more to life than lust. We know that. And I also see that you and this person, who, whomever this is, there's just, there's, there's something here that keeps you uh, going back to each other. There's something here you can't, so for some reason, you guys can't part. But I'm going to tell you why you can't part, because the lust is there, because it's good to you. Um, this is just a very, very lustful relationship. Now, what's interesting, I have the Ace of Swords here, which means clarity. You see very clear what's holding this relationship together. You know exactly what's holding this relationship together. Now, I'm going to say something. When I see the Six of Cups here, you guys are not together. You're not together. You've broken up, but you still keep... You know what I'm saying. You still keep doing the do. There's still a lot of intimacy here. You never broke that up. Uh, but you guys are still together. You're, you, I mean, excuse me. You guys were broken up, but you still kept laying down. You kept getting into it. You kept doing the do. You kept... All the time, anytime, everywhere, any place. That's the kind of relationship this is. And the Ace of Swords is here, and that's like that's clarity. I'm just saying, you see her, she sees you. You guys know what you want. Because here's the Six of Cups in the middle of the read. You're back together. You're back together because it doesn't make sense for you to be apart. I'm just being very honest because you and this person, and I'll say this, I don't ever think you were really truly apart. Because if you're still messing around, if you're still having intimacy, if you're still laying down with each other and um, having passion and everything and all of the above, then I don't ever see you breaking up. This energy was still there. But now it's official because here's the Six of Cups, which means it's a reunion. You guys are getting back together. This is a relationship that is coming back together. After all that you've been through, you're back together. Because you know why the lust is here? The love is here as well. And I'll say that because the devil gets a bad rap. It can represent a Capricorn sun sign. But it gets a bad rap because it's the devil. But the devil also can mean incredible love. And I think you know that you guys are in love with each other. It's not just lust anymore. You are in love with each other. You never stop talking to each other. Look at that eight of wands there. You kept um, having communication back and forth. Even if it was times that you guys didn't agree, you still were there. This is a person that you have fallen in love with. And I do believe they fall in love with you. I think the best kind of relationship is lust and love. And I think this is a lust and love relationship. 
you both have lust and love. She's in love with you. You're in love with her because, like I said, the devil card gets a bad rap, but it also is being obsessed. And you um, are obsessed with her energy and she's obsessed with your energy, which means you're, you're in love because to be in love with someone, you have to be obsessed. In other words, you have to, their energy gives you a high. You want to be around their energy all the time because it gives you a high. And I see this relationship as being very lustful, but also being in love. That's just what I see. Now I see also the world card that's here at the end and the of this portion of your reading and when i see that world card being at the end that means that you've completed a cycle this cycle of uh breaking up is over i i, I do believe that you guys are together now and there's not going to be any more breakups because you have clarity as to knowing what you want you have clarity you guys both know what you want she's in love with you you're in love with her you know exactly what you want it's lustful but the lust has also um, it's also, uh, you're also in love with each other. Now, give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify the reading because I want to see what additional information the spirit guys are going to tell me about this reading for you. What additional information the spirit guys are going to tell me about this relationship? Show me, spirit guys, why is the devil card here? Sit back, relax, just give me three to five minutes. Why is the devil card here? Show me, spirit guys. Oh, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. This could be a Capricorn sun sign because I do say the devil does represent Capricorn. But remember, this is a general read. It can be anyone. But the Queen of Pentacles means she also has the paper, honey. Queen of Pentacles means this woman is very well respected in the community. Um, you are exactly what she wanted and what she needed. She needed to um, have an outlet. She needed to have someone like you that's fun, that's enterprising, that has a good time, but also that caters to her. She loves that. She's a queen of pentacles. She'll give you anything that you need and anything that you want. She has money. She could be a boss. She could own a business. She could be a CEO. She, whatever. She leads in whatever capacity she, she's in. And she has a bag. She has a bag. She's got money. She's very grounded as well. Very grounded. So you coming into her life and bringing this lust and now love. It's a, it's a godsend for her. So let's see why the Ace of Swords is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the Ace of Swords here for my Pisces? Ooh. Show me why the Ace of Swords is here. Your cards want to talk. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Oh, I see the Fool card. I told you, you guys are getting back together. You guys have been, you never stopped laying down with each other. You never stopped the intimacy. But with the full card, this is a new beginning. And it's over this, this Ace of Swords, which means that you see clear now. There's clarity now. You, Like I said, this is a reunion. You're coming back together. You also know now that this is just not lust. This is love as well. So let's see why the Six of Cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Six of Cups here for my Pisces? Show me. Four of Wands. Look at this. Four of Wands. Four of Wands means that you're coming back together to get married. I don't know. Um, I see an engagement happening, a proposal coming. Um, I see that you guys know what you want now. Um, this, you, you know you're not going to let this go again. You absolutely know that. The Four of Wands also could represent a soulmate person. Um, and I see you possibly looking at her as your soulmate. I do. So let's see why this Eight of Wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Eight of Wands here for my Pisces? Eight of Wands again. Whenever the spirit guys give you this, give you confirmation, they're giving me confirmation. Eight of Wands, especially over Eight of Wands. They're clarifying there and saying that you talk, you talk, you got the communication between you guys is off the chain. That is important. You guys, she has a place that she can land her head at. She can, and when I say that, when she's going through it, if she's a boss, you are there for her. You guys have conversations and you are fun for her. You are good to her. There are things that you, and you enjoy talking to her as well because she keeps you grounded. You, you know, you're all, your head can be in the clouds sometimes. She brings you down. Your communication is off the chain. That, I mean, you and this person, you know exactly who you want to be with now. So let's see why this, um, thank you, Spirit Guides. Who, why the world card is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. This is means that you're single and um, by yourself, but that's no longer. Because here, this world card is here, which lets me know that you're no longer single. 
You had a good time though while you were single, but now you're tied up because the world card means you completed that single cycle because you guys are going to get married. I strongly believe that. If not, you're going to be moving in together. You're going to be a couple. You're going to be forever and ever. You were single, but that world card lets me know that this has completed. This cycle of singleness has completed. So let's start at the beginning here. Here's the devil card. You have great, this, this card means lust also means in love it means incredible love so you have lust and love with someone here that is a boss someone has got a bag someone has got money someone that uh, and you guys both love each other this is one of those cards is the devil's leading your reading it all can also can mean excuse me a capricorn sun sign but if the devil's in the beginning of your reading this is all about lust and being in love you give her exactly what she needs she gives you back what you need as well and you have clarity on there here's this ace of swords because you guys aren't together but you never stop sleeping with each other you never stop sleeping with each other and here's the fool card you want a new beginning just the new beginning is totally different because the devil card, as I always say, gets a, de a bad rap because it's addiction, it's obsession. But you, I strongly believe you're obsessed with her energy and she's obsessed with yours. There is lust here that has turned into love because in order for you, and I'll say this again, to be in love, you have to be obsessed with someone's energy. Their energy puts you on a high and that's exactly what each of you do to each other. You are in, you are in lust and in love. And I think that's the best thing, one of the best things for a relationship. Here's the six of cups. You're coming back together. Like I said, you have been apart. You want for a new beginning. This is your soulmate. The four of wands, I do see marriage or proposal coming, but I also see this as your soul mate and you guys have figured that out because here's this eight of wands here this is communication you never stop communicating even even when you don't agree you still communicate this you and this person um have a great time with conversations maybe up all times of night talking to each other loving on each other there is a communication that you've never had with anyone else now I see the world card, which means complete is a completing cleaning of a cycle. And you see the nine of pentacles. When you see that nine of pentacles, that means you were single. That means you were single. And, but you have completed a, a cycle. You've completed a cycle. And that cycle is now that you're going to be in love and you have um, a soulmate. You, you, have a, a, you have a soulmate. And... This relationship is moving to the next level. And I do believe a proposal is coming. I do. So let's see what my oracles have to say to you. Let's see what my oracles have to say. Let's see. Well. Let's see. This is a great card for this because you are in love as well. Lust and love. It says, I think about you so much. It's scaring me. It's scaring me. It's scaring me.